So the new DLC got released a couple of days ago, uh, Origins, and uh, there's been quite a lot of people that have been saying that the map's pretty difficult. And to be honest, when I first started playing it, the map was pretty difficult. So today I'm going to be showing some uh, basically strategies, uh, just one strategy really, and a couple of examples of why the other strategies are not as good. So here we have like one of the strategies that I was using at the very start, which is kind of just to loop around the area that I would just, just was looping around. But obviously they keep jumping over the walls and rocks and stuff like that, so it's not very good. And uh, basically, also the problem with this big guy here is he keeps drawing you in and stuff like that. So the simple way to solve that is just to shoot, you know, his armor or whatever, and he'll let go of you. But also, I get crowded in here, but because I've got such a powerful gun, I can just shoot his vibes off and take him out instantly, basically. And also here, you probably notice that I get crowded very easily, but at the same time, I can take them all out because I've got such a like decent gun. And uh, the gun that I was just using is one of the new uh, light machine guns that they've released, like the World War-esque style guns with the DLC. So uh, they're, they're, it's a pretty good gun to be honest, like it will take them out like in a couple of bullets, so there you go. So here we move on to the strategy that's probably the best, like I, in my opinion. And uh, all you have to do is basically just run around uh, this little area here, but obviously um, the zombies will come in and start like crowding over you. But if you're if you're very good at training and stuff, then it's not really a problem to be honest. So as you can see, what I'm doing, I'm just like strafe jumping. So I keep jumping so the zombies can't hit me. And you'll notice like where the gateway is there, they can run straight in. So you'll notice how I solve that is basically just look at the zombie and then strafe left. So that way the zombie cannot hit me at all. And then here I almost get crowded in because of like the amount of zombies there is. But basically using this uh, generator as kind of like a, a train spot is very useful because basically the zombies have to run around the whole thing unless they run through the sides of it. But if you're running around in a loop circle, they're not going to go through the side, they're going to run all the way around. So this is why the strategy is so good and why you can use it to your advantage really. And this is how I start off the round, I kind of start here and I kind of make sure that I'm starting here. As you can see, I hardly have any progress done, but I'm still on wave 11 of Juggernaut. And all you have to do is just weigh up the pathway and make sure no zombies run through at the same time. And if they do, you kind of just wait and run past and strafe like I'm doing now. So as you can see, the zombies are getting crowded and they're running in now. So all I have to do is just run past them. Because at the end of the day, we're dealing with AI. We're not dealing with, you know, online players. As you see here, the generator is under attack, which gets a little bit hectic. But I still managed to take them down. Basically, I just turn around, spray over the zombies, take down the final guard that's attacking the generator. Don't know what they are, Viking zombie. And uh, there we are. And I uh, also dropped some max ammo, and I kind of panic, try and get it here. But obviously, all the zombies start running through. So I have to train them around, and it's just a simple, really strategy, really. So thanks for watching, guys. Alone against our oppressors. 